What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, and yeah, apparently some motherfuckers think I'm not that smart. But I'm just over here like, bruh, are you kidding me right now? And see, and here's the thing, like, so a lot of people don't think that I am musically smart or intelligent enough to do certain things. Well, I'm about to prove you guys wrong. And I mean really fast and actually really badly. I'm about to prove y'all motherfuckers wrong. What up, Lance? What up, everybody? Now, a lot of people sit there and say, you know, musically, like, lyrics-wise, and everything like that, that I am smart on certain things. If you guys notice, I kind of fucked up my hand a little bit, but it's all good. Now, I'm here to prove you guys wrong. Now, see, a lot of the, like, I'll admit, the only thing that was given to me is my guitar that I have sitting over there in the corner where it's usually at. But y'all sit there and think that I'm not that smart? Well, how many motherfuckers do you know of that can do this? Let me show you. Boom. My own personal homemade drum kit. How many motherfuckers you know that can do that? I build my own shit. And if you think I'm not smart or think they don't work, nah, I'm waiting for you wrong. Once again. Boom. Now let me get it on a flat surface here. Boom. Homemade drum kit, motherfuckers. What are y'all artists out there doing? While y'all are spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, on a brand new kit with drum kit wrong. Some of those drum kits are dope. But motherfucker, I'm over here building my own shit and making my own way. I make my own gear. You want you know what? I'll take it a step further. I'll even show you guys what I use as a guitar pick. Since mine actually got lost a while ago somehow. And a lot of people don't think about this either. They take these for granted. So give me just a minute and I'll show you. See, a lot of you motherfuckers seem to think that I have a regular guitar pick. Which normally I would. But with me losing it, y'all want to know what I use as a guitar pick? Boom. Soda tabs, motherfuckers. And they do work. And I will actually prove it to you right now.
right there. And I'm gonna continue to prove you guys wrong. So I'm giving just a minute. I'm gonna let the dog out real quick, y'all. Remember that. What up, y'all? I'm back. My point is about all this, man. While you guys are out there spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on equipment, I'm over here making my own gear. Okay. My guitar pick is a Rockstar Energy Soda Tab. My drum kit is a couple tent spikes, like super thin tent spikes that are actually razored down so they don't get slivers in them. And a couple coffee cans tied together with an old um, pair of um, like a Call of Duty drawstring from an old bag I had. And a couple coffee cans and a shopping bag handle. That's my drum kit. How many motherfuckers you know that make their own gear like that, huh? See, while y'all are spending hundreds of dollars, I'm over here doing that shit on a professional level using homemade gear, using my homemade drum kit, using my guitar, and boom. Homemade guitar pick. Well, not homemade, but may as well be. So see, y'all don't get that the things that you have, you can use around you. You just gotta be smart. Think about how you do shit. Like, how many motherfuckers you know that can build their own drum kit like this? Like, seriously. Like, a lot of people sit there and say that I'm not smart. If I'm not smart... Then why was I able to build my very own homemade drum kit out of a couple of Maxwell House coffee cans? Hey, let me rephrase that. I had to pause that for a minute. If I'm not that smart, why was I able to build my very own drum kit out of a couple of thin tent spikes found while I was out scrapping one day and a couple of Maxwell House coffee cans, an old drawstring, and a shopping bag handle? How many motherfuckers do you know that could build their own gear doing that? Like seriously. Y'all see, a lot of people sit there and say I'm not smart. This just proves that I'm a lot smarter than your average artist. Like I don't have to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a drum kit when I can just make my own right here at the house. And the cool thing is it doubles up. I don't just have the top. I have the bottom I can work with too. If I want to get that metallic sound, like see, like just for example, like if I want to get that metallic sound, I can get that metallic sound. If I want to go for a regular, if I want to get a regular drum sound, flip over to the top. And my drum sticks, like I said, a couple of tent spikes I found while out walking around down by the lake one day. See, y'all don't think about what you can use around you. And it, it's sad. Like I said, my guitar pick 
is this. An old rock star energy guitar attack. Exactly. Give me just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry that y'all had to let the dog back in, but, and that's the thing. I saved money by doing this. So while you guys are out there spending $200, $300, $400 on a drum kit that's high end, and don't get me wrong, I mean, those drum kits are nice, not going to lie, especially the Pearl ones, those Pearl drums are sick, love Pearl drums. Like, not gonna lie, I mean, I do have my favorite set of drums that I will, that I will go for if I need to. But why spend the money when I can make my own gear? So let me tell you something. Y'all want to know what my very first drum set was? It was a Pringles can with... That was actually, if you guys remember the um, baseball seed, like the sunflower seeds that come in like those plastic baseball bats. All I did was I cut a hole in the side with a pair of scissors of the Pringles can, drove the baseball bat into the side of it where the hole was, and boom, that was my drum kit when I first started out. I mean, yeah, I could play drums on keyboard and stuff like that, like on by PC keyboard, which don't get me wrong, that's all well and good. But nothing beats being authentic and creative like this. Like, how many people you know that build their own drum kits out of, like, literally, a simple a pair of called Diddy Pants drawstring that kind of broke on me a long time ago? A couple Maxwell House coffee cans. If you guys look real close there, you guys can actually see. Here we go. Right there, the little piece to the to the old black Walmart shopping bag to tie it off so it holds it together. Like seriously. Well, you rock stars are out there building your careers off of pre-made kits, I make my own kits. I make my own sounds. So I don't see how y'all sit there and think that you're better than everyone. I mean, hell, dude, how many people do you know of that play guitar using this? A simple rock star energy drink soda tap. Like, come on. You gotta get creative. Like, it, it, it never ceases to amaze me at how stupid people can be. Like, they don't think. Like, anything around you can be used as an instrument if you're a musician like myself or if you're an artist like I am. Anything can be used as an instrument. You just gotta figure out how to use it. Instead of throwing a coffee can away, Save it. Get another one. Build a drum kit like this. Save up. Get a bigger can for your kicks, your snares, your tongs, your hi-hats. Do all that. Build your own kit. Don't go out and spend it because at the end of the day, when you build your own drum kit, you're saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now, don't get it wrong. Cheaper isn't always better, but a lot of the times when it comes to musical instruments, it is. Nice, that's what's up. 
I play, and if you guys don't know the instruments that I do play, I play drums, guitar, keyboard, piano, and violin via PC keyboard. Well, drums and guitar, obviously, you know, you guys seen it. The, like, piano and stuff, I learned all that on my own via PC keyboard, and I'm able to do everything on my own. But, like, you know, I've been doing music for um, going on 11 years coming up. And, you know, I've always been criticized for my style, for how I do things. Well, you know what? This just proves that I'm above and ahead of you guys that are spending money. Like, while you guys are spending $200, $300 on a drum kit, I got my own drum kit right here, which makes just as good a sound, and it does just as good. Hey, Melissa, what's up? Like, seriously, how many people do you know that build their own gear, that build their own kits, that do their own sounds? Like, seriously. I mean, look at that. That is being smart. And that is saving money. So, for all you parents out there that do have kids, like, if you do have kids out there and, you know, and they want to get into playing drums and stuff like that, just pick them up, like, give them, like, a pair of, like, colored pencils or something like that that are old or something long like these. And, like, make sure, you like, don't do like I do because I am able to use these correctly. But if you are going to use these, you know, put, like, electrical tape or something around them due to the sharp points right there. But make sure, like, you wrap those. And then all you need are a couple Maxwell House coffee cans, some drawstring or like whatever binding of your choice to bind these together and then run a piece of string or whatever through the middle to hold them together. Like seriously, all you do is you punch four holes in the sides, run the string through both of these, like run them through both of these in the sides, tie them off, do whatever, and then Boom. And it only takes about maybe five, ten minutes of the max to build this kind of a kit. Uh, I sure. seriously, it only takes five, ten minutes to build this drum kit, if that. What you do is you drill one hole in the side here, like one above the other on both sides. And then you face them towards each other and then you know, do your thing where you run them. Just as a matter of fact, I'll actually open one yeah, of these. If you look inside there, you can kind of see what I did. I ran it through both sides right there on both of these and tied one end off. Like, seriously, it's not that hard to build your own kit, guys. Stop wasting your money. Build your own drum kit. And plus, it gives you something to do. And with your own drum kit, you can stylize it however you want, which I do plan on doing that with this. I do plan on, you know, doing some really cool designs on this. Once I get the money, I'm probably going to take and oof, I'm probably going to take some, like, tape or whatever, like, not like masking tape, but like your crafting tape for like making wallets and stuff like that. I may end up doing that like around these. And then what I'll probably end up doing is taking these apart and then redoing the holes. And then, but I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the authenticity of it. But I don't know. I might do something with these. I might stylize them. I might not. But like I said, it doesn't cost that much to build your own drum kit, people. Especially if you're in the music and you want to get into doing drumming. 
Best thing to do and start out, build your own kit. Like, it's not that hard. You can do that with, you can literally do this with anything, like coffee cans. Um, I want to say, well, I would say soda cans, but those are kind of a little too small. Well, you can do them with any size jug like this. You just got to take this basic format and apply it to larger or smaller things. You got to get smart with it. And the cool thing is, they, these don't even have to be used with drumsticks. They can be regular, you know. They can be regular drums that you do by hand. It don't matter. That's the beauty of it. You can use either drumsticks or do it by hand. Either way, it don't matter. So for all you music artists out there, stop wasting your money. Stop buying these high-end, you know, drum kits to work with at home. Like, it's fine for, like, when you're on the road and you're touring and you're playing shows. That's all well and good. That's great. I highly recommend doing that when you're on the road. Like, when you're performing. But when you're recording here at home, like I do because I have my own home studio, Build your own. Stop buying these overly expensive drum kits. You know, it's not that hard to, you know, build your own. Like I said, how many motherfuckers you know that can build their own drum kit like I just did? Like, you don't see this kind of shit anymore. And it's sad. So like I said, guys, if you are wanting to get into music, this is like not only a little show how of what I use when I'm at home to create my drum sounds and to create my tracks and my beats and stuff like that. But this is also a little thing where you guys, if you want to be have a cheap, simple way to build your own drum kit at home, right here. Just some string, a couple coffee cans, and a Walmart shopping bag. Piece. Like seriously, how many people on earth do you know that build their own drum kit like this? And see, and this is what I mean when I have when I said the other night that I have no when the last night actually when I said I don't have any money. Like, and it's true, I don't have any money. But honestly, like, that's what draws me to do interesting things like building my own drum kit. You know, creating my own guitar pick out of a soda tab. And believe me, I have like a shit ton of these. I have like over a hundred of these things in my toolbox. So, like I said, if you guys that are doing music want to get a really good drum kit like I will actually do a tutorial on how to do it step by step actually I'll actually do a pictured step by step um, tutorial on how to make your own drum kit out of coffee cans and some drawstring and a Walmart shopping bag handle like it's super simple. It took it takes less than five ten minutes. But uh, with that being said, y'all, this has been your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade, and I'll see you guys later. And for all of you out there that think I'm not that smart, this just proves that I am. Peace. Oh, yeah.